thanks for joining me on my third devlog of Clandestine. I'm really considering a name change, more on that later. I appreciate all the support my last devlog got, and I'm really surprised and thankful that I've reached 100 subscribers. There's lots to cover today since I'm lazy and haven't uploaded in a while. If you just want to skim over the updates and see some gameplay, I've included timestamps in the description. I want to start this log off with weapons since that's the biggest improvement I've made since my last devlog. I've drastically improved the models for a few of my guns. I quickly added arms and hands to the V models as well. I got tons of feedback on Reddit and I think the look has overall improved. I created a shooting range so I can test my weapons and just see how they handle in the field. I'm still making the models in Unity by painstakingly placing and resizing cubes until they look like guns and modeling more complex attachments and such like my sniper scope in Blender. I will likely end up remaking all my weapons in Blender eventually. I'm working on an attachment system so weapons can be more modular. You'll be able to customize your weapons individually as well as your loadout. I've created a ton of weapon effects as well, including muzzle flash, bullet trail, bolt animations, and lighting effects around the bullet hole and barrel. Speaking of the bullet hole, I hate how they overlap and aren't randomized. There aren't really any good tutorials on how to achieve this effect, but I'm going to try to see if I can come up with some system to do this. My thoughts on a solution would be having a secondary material the object would have that is the damaged material, then wherever the object is shot, show the damaged material instead. That way it will blend and look nice even if I combine the bullet holes. Recoil has received big changes. I've changed the firing point to actually come from the barrel of the gun instead of the center of the player's camera. I've included a laser to all guns instead of a crosshair as well. This is similar to games like Insurgency Sandstorm. This makes it so you can line up shots that are much closer to you. Because of this, I can actually transform the gun's rotation every time it's fired. I can also set the amount of recoil each weapon has while hip firing and aiming down sights. The back and forth motion of the recoil is all procedural, but I can set limits to how far it can go. This also affects the camera's rotation, which makes each shot a whole lot more satisfying. The amount of weapon sway each gun has now also depends whether you are aiming or not. If you are trying to control your recoil, you can press X to switch the gun's firing mode. I've also added a new state system. When you are aiming, you can press shift and switch to the gun's alternate sight. So far, I have canted sights and a smaller magnification you can switch to for the sniper scope. When you are sprinting, the gun is also brought to a different position. I could change this position for every gun. All in all, if we compare the new gunplay to the previous devlog, it's crazy to see how much things have improved.
have updated the UI a ton for both the menu and the player. For the menu, I've made a few small changes from the blue glow on the button you're hovering over to adding a simple tree in the background. I've also added a settings menu, but all I got in there for now is just mouse sensitivity. I want the settings menu to be huge, the graphical options in particular. I love when games give you a buttload of options to mess about. I need to revamp the player's character that I have. It doesn't completely match the art style I'm going for, and I'm thinking of designing something low poly. As more props and models come into the game, it's easy to spot the odd ones out. I did want to go with realistic graphics at first, but as time went on it seems like this low poly style may be easier for me to work with. I'm still trying to decide between low poly and retro PS1 graphics. I haven't dabbled in that area, but I always fantasize about Mrs.'s beautiful game Thouest the or Rock Flesh. We'll see where the game goes, and I may just try it out someday. I don't really have lots of experience with 3D modeling, so either art style will work for me. For the player's HUD, I've added a helmet look by just photoshopping some black things and putting a blur effect on them. I got this idea from Halo 5. I've added lots and lots of sounds to the game from menu music, to reload sounds, Unfortunately, I haven't created reload animations quite yet, so still, the gun just disappears for now. I'm using gun sounds from a couple Unity assets, as they provide more accurate results compared to me slapping my Wii Wii against my desk. Listen to the sound comparison. I still have yet to add many essential and advanced systems to my game, the main ones being game modes and a lobby manager. I feel once I actually get game modes into the game, it's going to start to come together really well. Of course all you can do right now is just kill each other and nothing else really happens. It's going to start to get really exciting as these systems come along and get implemented. Before, I just wanted a game mode similar to The Hidden, found in Gary's Mod and Team Fortress 2. But the gunplay feels like it's come such a long way and I was thinking it could be interesting with other party modes like maybe one in the chamber and sticks and stones. I've been trying to avoid other game modes like Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch to stay away from other multiplayer FPS games, but we'll see what happens. In my next game log, I want this to be finished or at least working somewhat. That way I can actually get players to test this and tell me how broken it is. I also have to come up with a new name as I've already found another game named Clandestine and I'm not really in love with it at the moment anyways. I have a few I was thinking about but if you guys have some suggestions I'd love to hear them. Here's my list. That concludes devlog 3 of whatever this game is named, I don't know, hopefully we find one before the next video, and if not that's fine too, lots of people have unnamed games for a little while. Once again, thanks for watching, and thanks so much for 100 subscribers, that is so awesome, and it happened pretty quick.